Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are looking at the recent released Google Poly. Now, what the heck is a Google Poly? Uh, well, it is basically a website for sharing low um, polygon count 3D models. Uh, they're trying to basically build up a community uh, for their AR um, uh, tools, such as uh, Tilt Flow, I think it's called. But basically, they're trying to prime the pump with a bunch of assets for people to get started with alternate reality work. So if you're working in AR or VR and you need models to work with, well, that's the whole idea behind Poly. You can download or you can upload here and let other people share your work. It's basically a giant warehouse of 3D models. Now, why this is relevant to game developers is twofold. First off, if you need uh, models and you're not an artist, this could be a great resource for you. Uh, there's, It's new. But there is already an absolute ton of stuff here. Um, the quality of it is a little random, but as you can see, I just opened one up. You can see the preview uh, like so in the uh, the web editor. If you like it, go ahead, click download, and you can bring it down as an OBJ file. Now, when you download something, you see the license that is attached to it. In this case, it is the Creative Commons by license, which basically means that you have to accredit the author if you use this. So in your game credits or readme text or whatever, you have to give attribution back to the source. But this is very much usable in a game, commercial or otherwise. And it's just a matter of downloading it. It comes down as a zip file, like this guy right here. You grab them, that's the material, the texture, and the model. Drop that down to my downloads folder, and then let's take a look in Blender at how that looks. So I'm going to file, and will import, and an OBJ file is a wavefront object. Uh, that's in my downloads folder, and open. And ta-da! All right, I don't have good lighting on that one. Let me just go to material. There you go. And uh, yeah, that's kind of about it. Uh, the, the lighting is still a little off here. Um, just a second. Let's see if I get that a little bit better for you. All right, there you go. So I added sun to the scene so you can see the model a little bit better. But as you can see, it is ready and usable. Basically, you could drop this into whatever kind of asset you wanted to and you're off to the races. So um, let's head on back over to Polly. You come on over here to the left hand side. Uh, you can see it's broken down into various different uh, categories. So uh, objects, nature, food and drink, art, architecture. Let's go to architecture, see what kind of choices we've got. Like so. So if you needed a bridge or a windmill, farmhouse. Now you will notice there is a very consistent low poly aesthetic here. And if you're uh, a capable modeler, most of this stuff you could bang out in an hour or less. Uh, and, you know, over time you're going to see more people from the community upload stuff. And that's going to be a double-edged sword. You're going to see better quality and worse quality um, as time goes on. But, you know, if you're a non-artist, uh, this is a huge boon of resources available for you. Because if you need this stuff, you can just basically come here, search for it, uh, download it as an OBJ file, and you're off to the races. Now, at the same time, let's say we're looking for a boat. Come on up here, do a search for boat. Here's your various different boat options. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So, like this guy, for example. And if you want to have just the stuff that CC by, uh, in our search results, we come over here to the filter, and we could say, uh, so we don't want tilt brush sketches. That's going to be very much an end user product, but let's do it with remixable. And is it block models? other objects. There you go. So you can filter it down to just basically models that are ready to go and drop in your project. Um, another, we can do it by popularity, uh, complexity, uh, how long ago it was published, etc. And that is essentially it. This is uh, Google Poly. If you want, you can contribute as well. You can upload an OBJ file um, and the material that goes with it to here and other people can share it. So if you're the altruistic sort and want to contribute, uh, it's a very straightforward process. Your uploads will now be available over here. And that's about it. Uh, the fact that everything here is, you know, generally CC by license means that it's usable to you. So if you're looking for art assets, 3D art assets, uh, this might be a place to stop. Now, before I completely toot Google's horn on this one, I will mention that they were kind of beat to the punch by uh, Microsoft, actually. Uh, when the creators update shipped for Windows 10, uh, they launched a site called Remix 3D. And the whole idea behind it is to provide 3D models for um, Paint 3D that was shipped as part of, again, Windows 10 creators update. Um, 
And this is the same exact concept. It gives you access to a number of different models that you can then in turn bring into uh, Paint 3D or other applications and you're good to go. Now you'll notice I have this one up and going and the quality of it is staggeringly good. Uh, that's because it wasn't created in Paint 3D. You'll notice it was actually made in Maya. So this is more of a general resource. And if you wanted to bring this over into your app, it's a bit more of a contrived process. I can't just download a 3D file like I could from uh, Google Poly. Instead, what you have to do is basically open in Paint 3D. So obviously you need to have Windows 10 at this point. And then, so there's your model in Paint 3D. Now what I could do is go up to the menu and export the file and bring it out as an FBX. Obviously not as clean of a workflow and the biggest killer here, and I searched for some time because I was actually gonna do a video about Remix 3D and I never did because I could never find a definitive license issue. That's where Google really nailed this one. The CC BY license means you know you can use it. The lack of licensing from the Remix 3D makes me wonder if you're actually allowed to use it or in what capacity you're allowed to use it, which is why I didn't really go down that road. But it is so similar to Google Poly. I figured I'd two for one in this video. It's a pretty short video anyways. So if you're on Windows 10, you might also want to check out Remix 3D. I We'll link both URLs down below to uh, uh, the Google Poly and to the Remix 3D sites. Uh, exact same kind of premise, and it's kind of a windfall for you know low polygon art assets. And if you're looking, especially if you're just looking to prototype and you just need stand-ins, this is a godsend. You're going to start seeing um, these being used more and more often in games. It's a downside to free resources, so you may not want to rely on it. But if you're prototyping, this is definitely a boon for you. All right, that's it for now. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please, of course, do click like. And we cover all kinds of stuff that's game development related. If you're not already subscribed, maybe consider doing so. That's it. See you all later. Goodbye.